got quite a few more meters, I've piled them up here for now. And uh, most of them are Schlumberger and email meters, I've got a couple here as the samples. Um, yeah, they're the Schlumberger type meters and uh, some of these, this is a consecutive series which is quite cool. But uh, my plan is, I found this old Ferranti FL type meter, 10 amps, I'm going to do an accuracy check on the device. I think it's worked very hard in this life, it uh, doesn't look in the best condition, but uh, we'll give it a shot, see what happens. So here we've got these 3 meters, um, I'm going to plug them in now. Only a 2 kilowatt test load on it, so I'll be using the TVH uh, meter shortly. Um, I'm just going to do a dial test. The meter on the left, that's the old Ferranti, that's probably from the 1940s. Uh, constant is uh, 600 revolutions per kilowatt hour. The middle one is a check meter, that's uh, an M2XL 4 meter, 270 revs per kilowatt hour. And on the right hand side is the Sengamo S277, 250 revs. I hope the wind is not going to pester us too much, bloody wind. Get a close up on the dials. The Ferranti meter has quite a uh, dark disc, it uh, looks like varnishes on this, so the meter has been uh, subjected to high loads, may have fried up a bit, um, yeah, definitely some varnish there. Uh, also the original meter seal. Also the original meter seal is still intact, well, on the power board, because this meter was calibrated 1171, that was uh, recalibration, so um, yeah. So it's been in service uh, 29 and 1847 years more or less. Oh, the Actaris meter is a check meter. I'll just do a dial test uh, over a couple of units. Uh, 95.7 and then the Sangamo. And the Sangamo last digits is 26.1. Uh, 26.1. So I'll let this uh, percolate for a few minutes and then I'm going to do the accuracy test and uh, we'll see what readings we're going to get out of that. So yeah. Okay, 10 reps, here we go. Start. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was for the Ferranti. Okay, on the Ferranti we measured 10619, which yields in a uh, negative error. So I'll calculate out shortly. I'll just get the other tests done. On the Actaros I'm supposed to get uh, 22,222 with 270 waves constant. So I'll start shortly. Start. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 
and we measure 22459. Lucky last is a single mobile, you're looking for a constant of 24,000. Start. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. Ten. Yielded in two, three, seven, four, five, which is a little bit fast, about 0.6 or something. I'm gonna have a quick look in this old time capsule. I've taken the seal off already. Loosen the screws, so I'll take this lid off, this meter, and have a look inside. Actually, it doesn't look too bad at all. It's uh, still in pretty good condition. Oh, here, yeah, that's polling. Uh, got a little, yeah, it, has a, it is worn out. Still is in reason, it's 6%, but it may sometimes stop for some reason. Oh, there you go, it stopped again. I think it's a dry gear train on the register, so let's have a look on the other side. Here we have a classic uh, Geneva movement which is probably dating from the 1940s although the older FDBs used to have these gears as well so it's uh, here yeah, old brass. I'm just going to take the dial off and have a closer look. Current coal looks pretty good. It's, they're normally black enamel on here but uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's burned. Normally you see the blisters coming off. I'm sure it has been hot here. You see the meter is now going slow. So it did have its issues. Load is only about uh, 8, 9 ampere at the moment, so I'm not pushing it too hard. So yeah. Well, I've loosened the dial and take the dial off. Here we go. I'll just get the camera in a different position. The register is still free running, which is a good sign. So it's uh, yeah, it's still good. You got two little pointer dials here on the top. And these numbers, I get the light in there. They flick sideways on discs. Nine, forty. Really cool, beautifully made again. We're going to look at the uh, disc itself. Yeah, it means I can do it a bit of cleaning. Um, yeah, yeah. It's uh, very dirty. It hasn't been touched for like uh, 48 years more or less. So, yeah. Uh, here we've got the voltage coil in the meter. That is this one. So, you've got the voltage coil, and underneath, you've got the current coil. That is the, a couple of uh, black windings here. And then the terminal uh, termination uh, box. So I've calculated out the meter hours for the Ferran TV. Should get a constant of 10,000 on the TVH. We got 10.619 impulses, which yields an error of 5.8 percent negative minus. So the meter was running slow. Uh, considering that meter is 47 years last for recalibration and it's probably 80 years old, it's from the 1940s. The Schlumberger, which is 13 years old from the, uh, 2005, constant is supposed to be 22222 pulses, we got 22459 which yields in an error of 1.05 negative within the class 2, so that's fine. And the Sengamo S207, uh, I don't see a recalibration date on it, so that was be 1960, uh, 57 years old. You can get it on camera, yeah. 57 years old, the error is 1.07 positive, and 
He's supposed to look for a constant of 24,000. We got 23,745 pulses, so that is uh, pretty good going for your Singamo, still uh, with positive specifications.